Welcome back to another video. Today I will finally be getting to you on that Doors Roblox video that I have been promising for quite some time. However, have not yet actually made. So basically, for those of you who don't know, Doors is a horror game on Roblox where you are spawned into a haunted hotel and you have to make it from door one to door 100. They currently, or I actually made a post about this earlier today saying how unfortunately they're not going to be able to release the hotel update until next year, late January. Unfortunately, but guys, I am a little upset about that just because I love the game, but I'm not going to be super mad about that. So basically, you have to go through this hotel and survive the monsters that will come. And basically, this one will also serve as a little bit of a tutorial for those of you who have not played. So basically, once the... Er, uh, once the music stops playing, the doors to the elevator open and you spawn in this hotel lobby type thing. And basically you have to crouch if you're on a computer, press C or the shift button. And if you're on mobile, you're going to want to just press the crouch button, which you'll be able to see the bottom left corner. Then you want to come over here and press E if you're on a computer or just walk up to it and press the little interact button that you'll see on screen um, if you're on mobile to grab this key also if you want you can search through these drawers which again just use e or the interact button and basically what i just got in each of those doors was a bunch of coins those coins at the end of the game will translate into a certain amount of knobs which is the end game currency now i'm going to go ahead and hold e to unlock this which opens the door you're probably going to see me open some door or some drawers and not all of them. That just depends on how I feel, what monsters have been nearby, and also the kinds of rooms that I'm in. Alright, so as we're making this way through, I'm going to actually go ahead and talk about some of the monsters. Basically, Rush is the most common monster. He, he Starting at door 10 is when he can come. He will rush through the rooms. And if you're standing there in the room unhidden, he will instantly kill you. The way you'll know he's coming is you'll hear a loud screeching sound and, um, like, it's a hard sound to describe, but also the lights will start flickering for a second. If they flicker for, like, three to four seconds, it means rush. Five to six seconds is another monster, and seven seconds and up is another monster, we're going to go ahead and prepare for him since we we're at door 10. Okay, we didn't have him at door 10. That's good. So, we're going to search these drawers for a key. Oh, and I just got a lighter, which can be used for dark rooms, which I'll talk about later once we get one. But basically, I now have to unlock door 11, which will probably have Rush. Or not. So, um, all right, there we go. That was the lights for Rush. And if you listen, that is the sound he makes. And he knocks out all the lights. Now, if you stay in the closet too long, he or another monster, Hyde, will push you out and take about 50% of your health, which is not good. So then the next monster, which is Ambush, basically he's a lot like Rush. He knocks out all the lights when he comes. You have to hide in a closet or under a bed. But he comes back and forth and you have to get in and out of your hiding spot when he comes because he will kill you on upon contact as well. Then if the lights are flickering for a very long time, it means that you have to worry about what's in the next room, not the room you're in. That is called Holt. Basically, he... Oh, this is a good um, time to mention this monster. So basically, Holt is just a ghost... If you see the screen flash, you have to turn around or start moving backwards, and you just have to make it um, down to the end of the hallway. If he touches you, he will not kill you instantly. However, he takes away about 50% of your health. Now, this monster that I just got, this is called Eyes. Basically, if you look at it, 
it will take 10% of your health about per second. So you cannot look at him too long. However, he will disappear once the door is opened. As you can see, he just vanished and the door is opened. Now we're going to talk about Timothy, which can hide in drawers. That's a pretty generic name. Honestly, doesn't really fit the style of the game, but he's a spider that takes about 5% of your health. He cannot kill you, though. If you have five or less health points, he will just knock you down to one health point. He cannot kill you. We're also going to talk about a, few, er, a monster in a dark room. This one is called Screech. Basically, he takes about 40% of your health and jump scares you upon contact. Um, he is rather hard. You have to look at him to get rid of him, which is the opposite of uh, the eyes. Which is why lighters and flashlights are great for dark rooms. Now we're going to talk about another monster that can be in closets. This one is called Jack. Personally, one of my least favorites. Basically, he jump scares you if he's in the closet when you open it. And he will not let you into the closet. Which is very annoying. Now we're going to talk about some of our bosses. One of the boss, which I'm actually going to encounter pretty soon, is called Seek. This one you will have twice. And the first time you meet Seek, you will have to do a mixture of going under crawl spaces and dodging obstacles, then also just going around a roundabout to get to the correct door while he is chasing you. If he catches up to you, he will kill you and jump scare you upon contact. Then the other boss is called... Oh, dark room. The other boss is called Figure. Figure is a monster in door 50 and door 100. Basically, this monster cannot see, but if he hears you, he will kill you instantly. However, you can hide in a closet to dodge him. However, you're even not safe then because you still have to do a little mini game. Most of, every, most of the people who play it call, the, call it the hearts game, where basically a half of a heart will come on screen from a certain direction and you have to tap on it when it gets to like the shaded part of the screen to control your breathing. However, if you mess up too many times, figure will kill you, even if you're hiding. However, in those rooms, hide, the monster in the closets and bed cannot get you. So you're safe from him in there. And there is actually a bug where if you get out of the closet while doing the heart mini game, it does not work on mobile. However, it does work on everything else. The figure will actually be stunned and you can get to a better hiding spot. So I'm just looting this desk even though I already have the key because it can have some good loot. Like some lock picks which are good for room dark rooms. I use them for dark rooms or rooms that have like a hundred rooms inside of them. Because they drive me crazy, especially dark rooms that need a key. Because I don't feel like searching the dark room. That was perfect timing, actually. Oh no, where is the door? Where is the door? Oh, it's on the. It's this way. Okay, the door is this way. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Oh no, double dark room. So we're going to go this way to the door. And that was Screech. Basically, I just looked at him and he was there. And that is Rush. Meet Rush, everybody. So as you can see, it says you died. It seems you're having trouble with Rush. The lights will always flicker when he is near. Whenever this happens, find a hiding spot. This is where I died. I'm actually not going to use my revive. Just because I don't really need to, I am going to play again, though. Alright, here we go. New game. It's loading. Alright. So. I actually didn't see the lights flicker. That's why I didn't get in a hiding spot, but I heard him. But I knew I didn't have enough time to hide. So I'm not actually going to buy anything. I know I could buy a lot of things. I, you can actually only click on these once. 
if you click on them again, it just unclicks it. I'm not going to buy anything, even though I have over a thousand knobs, just because I don't really want to spend any. I do like this music though. Alright, so we're, this is kind of just going to be me talking for this part, since I've already talked about pretty much everything in the game that you'll need to know. You know that I said that's going to be like a little tutorial. Basically, Hulk can actually come as early as door 3. Uh, Rush, I believe, is as early as door 10. Ambush, I have no other clue. I have no clue. I only know Hulk and rush i don't know anything else um and and seek is actually more spontaneous it usually happens around from door 30 maybe 27 is the earliest i've ever started seeing signs of him coming which you'll see eyes pop up on the walls those ones are safe to look at they're black with like roots growing into the walls the lights will flicker with them oh no i need a lighter i need a lighter i don't like dark rooms okay we're just gonna go in ow i can't see i've already been here wait brightness all right, turned up the brightness on my computer. Okay, so that's actually another entity that I didn't mention yet. Oh God. So this blue light is called the guiding light. He is a passive entity. He cannot hurt you no matter what. I'm just waiting for the other blue light to come on. Oh, that startled me, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, just gonna check for Screech. Hopefully there's a lighter in this one. There is. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Wish I had that earlier, but that's good. Alright, so basically... Um... Okay. So yeah, I actually was playing earlier today, and I had Seek. When I had Seek earlier today, I had him at door 40, so it was door 46 by the time I actually got done with him. It, he's not that hard if you've actually played the game a few times. I have been playing for a, quite a long time, actually, and um, I have actually beat the game six times, and counting, yes. So, basically, I have been, like, obsessed with trying to figure out when the update will come out with for the hotel. Because they actually showed several new items in rooms, including the crucifix, which is an item that can stop the p guy who just came in here. Hold. The crucifix, I'm not entirely sure how long it lasts, but it will chain um, uh, Rush to the ground. I don't know if it works with anything else, but it gives you some time to hide before he actually finishes coming, and he will not kill you if you're holding the crucifix. Um... But basically, they made a post recently saying how it, they had some uh, issues with development and they have postponed releasing it. They said testing could come as during late January. Yeah, not exactly ideal. And then the Doors 2 is going to be much later than that if they still haven't even made the hotel update. I'm very excited for the hotel update just because I'm ready for it to change up a little before Doors 2, which will probably also have the crucifix. I mean, I don't know exactly. So this is probably the last last rush I will get before Seek. So yeah. Alright, 
right, so the eyes should start popping up in a second. Locked room, find a key, here's the key, unlock door, that was the eyes, don't worry, who's there, I heard knocking, I came from the game, don't worry, came from the game, not in real life, you hear lots of crazy things while playing this game, You'll hear like the pipes creaking and um, footsteps and knocking. I like to think that that's lore behind the game, like people trapped in the hotel. Oh, there's a key, finally. I hate these rooms. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the eyes. See, these ones are safe to look at. They got like the little roots growing into the wall, completely safe for now. Yeah, the lights are flickering. Rush, ambush. I don't think any monsters can come while the eyes and seek are here. I recently made a video on me completing door 100, if you guys have seen that. Alright, this is the room there that seek spawns. Just so you can see it, I'm going to back in. I know it'll turn the camera around, but it's quite cool. Like, see, he flickered onto the screen there for a second. Alright, so basically that is seek. He starts chasing you, and you have to go through these crawl spaces to survive him, and just outrun him. Then this room, you've got to go to the light, go against what everybody says, do go towards the light. In this room, don't touch the arms because they will drag you out the window, don't touch the fire because it takes away 50% of your health. And door 43, and he was very far away from me when I finished. And the door slammed shut, so he can't get to you. And yeah, so that's that. Then this room's kind of like you have to find this lever, and then it opens this door, and then it opens, and then you get to open the door behind it. Eyes, eyes has an indistinctive purple glow and a different sound to them. So we're almost to door 50, which I'll show you figure 48. Oh, hello. So there's him. Don't worry, I'm fine. But, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna crouch because he has super hearing. If you've ever seen um, The Quiet Place, either of those movies, he's a lot like those aliens. So basically, in this room, you have to crouch and search for books. I know that's crazy sounding. Oh, gosh. Oh, I thought he was about to kill me. Oh, he was right there. Probably going to start chasing after me. So he's going that way. So I'm good for right now. So basically, you have to search for books in the library. Which each book will show a number and a. Alright, so the books look like that with different numbers and shapes. Alright, so basically he's chasing me right now. The hearts game will come up in a sec. Or not, because he forgot about me and then he's not gonna let me go. chase me as soon as I get out of this car. Where did he go? Did he go upstairs? I'm sure he's gonna get me now. So this is it, the heart mini game. So basically you just have to complete the heart and stabilize your breathing. You get like two chances on the first time, one chance on the second. Oh, there I go. 
So basically, you have to stabilize your breathing while hiding. And that was that. So guys, unfortunately, that is the end of today's video. I will probably not be posting anything until the new year. If I don't, thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas or whatever you celebrate. And I will see you next year in 2023. Have a good one, everybody.